My name is Kasper René Johansen, and I'm your YouTube philosopher. Now, tell me what you're most afraid of. Tell me about your deepest, darkest fear. Welcome to this book review about the book Transphilosophism from the renowned Hong Kong based philosopher Dish Super. Now, this uh, title of the book might be confusing for some because there's something out there called <clears throat> trans uh, philosophy. But uh, trans philosophy is about the experience of being a transgender, something that illuminates uh, questions and mindset about being a transgender. Now this uh, trans philosophism that Dish uh, Super writes about, which is his own term, it's, uh, it's more a, a reference to something that goes beyond uh, traditional philosophy, uh, trans, uh, kind of like the word transcendental, which uh, goes beyond and lies over uh, something. This is a trans philosophy that goes beyond traditional philosophy. That's what it aspires to. I have reviewed another one of uh, Mr. Desh Super's uh, books, and that was uh, Philosophy of Fearism. You should uh, check that video out if you want to get into this uh, philosophy of uh, fearism. You can also uh, read my article on Academia Edu about fearism. Uh, there's a link down here in the descriptions. Uh, there's also a, uh, a link up here in the cards for the video I did about the book review of this Philosophies of, of, of Fearism. Because uh, Transphilosophism is also about this uh, fearism where he he, he kind of de super continues where he, what he started in this philosophy of fear of fearism and goes beyond that uh, and and goes uh, more deeper into to another uh, aspect of this uh, fearism he, he kind of continues uh, the philosophical journey he's uh, he's on The idea about uh, philosophy of fearism that everything that drives uh, human decision and and uh, and everything we do, our actions are based upon fear, according to philosophy of uh, fearism. Uh, it's kind of like the animal runs, the rabbit runs from the fox because it fears death, so it's motivated to uh, run from the the fox. That's also the idea here for for humans that everything we do. Uh, stems from, from fear of some sort. Uh, why am I married? Well, I'm afraid that I, I would be, be alone and uh, lonely and just sit here and, and, and watch my wall all day and have nothing to do if I don't have a companionship uh, like my wife and uh, children. So that motivated me to find uh, uh, somebody I could fall in love with and, and marry and so forth. That's the idea basically about this fearism. So basically I'm sitting here uh, making this video uh, out of fear. Uh, this super, he sent me the book, Philosophy of Fearism, and I, I promised him to do this uh, uh, book review on his uh, new book. I don't want to disappoint. I, I would fear disappointing uh, Mr. Super that I didn't do a, a review of his book. Also, when I'm making this uh, uh, review, I, I want to make a good review of the book that you want, would like to watch. So I, I fear it's going to be a bad review if I don't do, do a good one. So I try to uh, do my best to make a good review of the book. 
So a lot of my actions are based on these uh, fears. Uh, according to this super, there's uh, one uh, prime fear, a, 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 a original fear, a first mover of fear, one could say, and that's the fear of death. Uh, and this uh, phanatophobia, which means fear of death, uh, that's the first fear that everything stems from. That's why you read philosophy, you practice on how to die, you, that is a preparation for death. And that's also the idea here about philosophy of fearism, that you fear death, which motivates uh, your action. And that could be to read philosophy, that could be to uh, trying to create a safe uh, environment uh, for yourself, uh, have, a, have a house. So you don't fear being struck by lightning or, or, or die from uh, from uh, from the cold. Uh, it's very cold in Denmark where I live. So I'm motivated to have shelter uh, uh, over my head when it uh, when it's cold outside. Uh, so that's the the general idea here. I also in the beginning of the video talked about. And I asked you, what are you afraid of? What is your deepest, darkest fear? Well, the answer according to this super should the darkest fear of all is death. You know death is coming uh, at some point. Uh, that makes you fear stuff, fear a lot of things. So the, the basic fear, Thanatos, fear of death, moves to, to other fears, one can say. Now, what has all this got to do with this uh, trans philosophism? Well, trans philosophism is about exactly about Marxism. Most of the book is about Marxism, and that's because Marxism, you can say, is an an utopia. It's uh, Marxism, according to De Schubert, was created uh, to uh, make these uh, workers uh, feel. Uh, safe and has uh, have uh, less fears by living in 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 the in the proletarian uh, 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 dictatorship that they that, that they wanted Who wants to criticize and improve uh, marxism at the same time it doesn't want to refute uh, Marxism all, all, all out. Uh, it, it wants to approve upon it, but it also wants to criticize it. Uh, and why does it? Why does this super wants to do this? Is he a Marxist? No, he's not a Marxist. He's a theorist. So he wants to improve Marxist theory with uh, theorism. He wants to blend those two together in a synthesis, <laughs> one could say. Marxism is about uh, creating a, a special kind of society. Why even be a in a society? Well, that's also fear, according to this super. It, let, me, let me read something up for you. The state is a group of people, village, town, city, and metro city. Suppose we're, we're walking along in the forest. We have various terrors. While we walk as two persons, generally our fear minimizes. And if we we are, and if more than two, we may reach to the fearless fearless position. Origin of group, community, society, and state are almost similar to more people, less fear, fewer people, uh, more fear. And that's also this concept. This is an old, I think also and also older concept. The safety in numbers, like like animals, they herd. They herd together because the safety in numbers, and that's also the idea here for man that that we are less afraid of being uh, robbed and and terrorized and all other calamities that comes to waters if we more who gather together in a society uh, where we are uh, equal. We 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 all share uh, the same town or society or metro or, or country and, and so forth, we, we herd together in order to feel uh, safe 
because uh, even writes somewhere in this book that that uh, when people walk alone in the forest, especially at night when it's uh, dark, they sing to themselves in order not to feel alone, in order to feel more safe, safe because they're frightened what could ha happen in a dark forest. So that's also the idea here that we herd together in society because we feel safe. But there's many kinds of societies and Marxism is an, and generally regarded as a kind of an, a more utopian society. Cause. But the super, he doesn't say, wow, Marxism just is the greatest thing. That's not more. He wants to improve Marxism through the lens of uh, fearism. That is his main person. Sorry, that is his main purpose in this uh, philosophy of theorism to, to try to approve the idea of uh, Marxism, to criticize it and to take uh, these uh, critique points and, and try to approve them through, uh, through uh, theorism. And actually, that's very interesting, to add capitalism. Because uh, he has a problem, and this is very interesting for me, he has a problem with the whole idea of uh, the class uh, struggle. That uh, Marxism has this uh, an antagonistic uh, worldview where they're out, there's the proletariat, and uh, Marx wants the proletariat to become a dict dictatorship in, in themselves, and that is to vanquish and destroy the, the capitalist, these uh, bourgeois, bourgeois uh, uh, the bourgeois, they, they wanted to, 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 to drive them out in order for the proletariat to become a dictatorship. So everything that is not the proletariat, and that includes the capitalistic uh, bourgeois, they are the evil, they are the antagonist uh, from this uh, proletarian uh, world view point. And that's not something that this super is uh, great keen on, because he, he believes that all this uh, 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 antagonistic uh, way to, to see, hey, they, they, those are the evil ones, those are the bad ones, get rid of the bad ones and everything's great. He's not into this because they all have fears. And the bourgeois, they had a lot of fear. Actually, his point in this is that they actually had more fear than the common worker, the common uh, member of the proletariat. So this was what uh, Deschubo writes about uh, uh, capitalists and their fears. In my observation, the capitalist is more alienated than the working class. Marxism accepts that numbers of workers are more than number of capitalists. At a workplace, neighbor, and at home, working people have more friends. The point is, they have no problems and all fear has little impact. They are not much worried about loss of property, prestige, and status and status as the capitalist. Capitalists are alienated everywhere. They have a handful of friends and neighbors. They panic to walk and talk in the local public market. They hesitate to meet the public and employees. Insecurity, ego and fear make them alienated. So that's also something uh, Karl Marx uh, didn't come much into, that the bourgeois uh, actually had a really much problem them, themselves. Uh, he is more on the side of the prol proletariat and, and, and fixated on, on, on their problems and how to relieve their problems. While the super also come in here that the bourgeois, uh, the capitalists, had their problems themselves. They were alienated from other people, which is never really a, a good thing, and they have a lot of fears. Suppose we are in the cave of Marxism. Everything can be seen as class. The real world can be seen exclusively by the man who comes out of it, exit of the cave. Yet this world will be very different and beautiful with multiple alternatives.
the cave of Marxism, he calls it. It's a, of course a reference to Plato's cave where everything in the cave is fake. It's also only when you come out of the, the cave you can see uh, the grand perspective in this uh, Plato's cave. But here he calls the cave of Marxism. And that means if you stay within Marxism you are kind of deceived. You must come out of the cave, come out of the Marxism's cave to see a more different beautiful and multiple alternatives way and that's also of course Marxism has to kind of also incorporate some uh, capitalistic uh, world point and his main point also in this book Transfield Sources and a lot of uh, societies are a mixture of, uh, of socialism and uh, capitalism and socialism of course comes from, from Marxism so we're talking about Marxism as a theory, but also when we talk about Marxism as a political movement, as a political, uh, uh, a pr practical thing. So that's, this is from uh, Desch Super's uh, uh, Transphilosophism. Socialists say that in our time, the field of scientific and technological progress has become a major arena for the struggle and come competition between two conflicting social systems, socialism and capitalism. This is a wrong concept because the competitors of capitalism are capitalists. The US competes with Japan, Germany, UK and China. China is doing a capitalist business in the name of communism. It is marching towards the biggest capitalist country in the world. Lots of capitalist symptoms can be seen in Chinese business. That's interesting. Uh, also coming from an Asian philosopher like uh, De Super, who resides in uh, uh, Hong Kong, that he also uh, stipulates that that Chinese are not all out uh, communist or socialist or Marxist or whatever you want to call them. They are also uh, capitalist, uh, and that's kind of uh, part of the uh, thing that's uh, maybe going more positive in in China. And also, what uh, is also let's take uh, China's uh, main opponent, America, USA. Uh, one of those things. You can, this is where it becomes maybe a little dangerous to get into here because now we're talking politics, but this is just my opinion. Uh, I think uh, this super would agree that a lot of things that's uh, getting better in America is when they add more uh, socialism. And uh, in China, a lot of things that's getting better in China is when they add some more uh, capitalism or liberalism, one could say, also. Uh, that's just uh, my viewpoint, and I think uh, this uh, super would, would agree here. But I know what I'm saying here could be controversial for some, because now we're talking uh, uh, politics. But political theory and po political thinking and political philosophy is a uh, field of philosophy. So that's also what's interesting me for this book about trans uh, philosophism because because I myself is uh, like uh, parts of Marxism I uh, I already uh, al almost already uh, did like uh, some parts of uh, Marxism as a political theory as a political philosophy uh, I think uh, Karl Marx was right when he said it's not about just thinking about the world and philosophize about the world. You have to change it. It's about changing the world. I agree with Marx on that. So, so I think it's interesting to uh, uh, philosophize about Marxism, especially in a new, improved way to try to improve the theory of Marx, because we can all agree that uh, that the communist uh, revolution. We, we saw that stems from uh, the political theories of Marxism kind of went sour and a lot of people died and so forth and, and what uh, Mao, Mao did in, in, in China at one point wasn't the best but but you have to separate Marxism philosophical theory from the political uh, 
uh, uh, theory of uh, Marxism and of course you can discuss uh, these things now is Marxism good or is it bad but that's also what this super does in this book he, he wants to uh, criticize Marxism but then approve upon it not discard Marxism but build upon it uh, and he actually add capitalism as, as I said er, earlier in, uh, in, in the video so this is interesting Success of the state depends on the task of the philosopher ruler as imagined by Plato and the good fear philosophy. So uh, the super actually support here Plato's claim that uh, a political leader should actually be a philosopher and uh, exactly as it was imagined by Plato. but with also a good portion of uh, uh, theorist philosophy. So he should be a, a theorist, a theorist philosopher, according to De Super. That's how I interpret this uh, quotation here. That's actually pretty radical and uh, kind of cool, I think. Why be part a, of a society? Why be part of a town, a big city, a country, and so forth? That is to believe you fear. The best society... If you run around being afraid and have lots of fear about living in a state or a town or something, that's not good. But if, you, but if the state helps you to relieve a lot of fears, that you feel safe in a city, you feel there's job security and so forth, that's good. So fearism is also about relieving uh, these fears through a positive fear release. So that's why it takes up uh, Marxism, which is an, an uh, utopian uh, uh, theory.